Welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video we're going to be talking about vitamin B6. Now when we're referring to vitamin B6 we're actually talking about these three compounds here which are basically precursors of the active form of vitamin B6. So these three compounds are pyridoxine, pyridoxal and pyridoxamine and the main difference between these three compounds is the functional group which is attached onto this um, aromatic ring which you can see here. So the functional groups attached are going to be slightly different uh, and these three compounds here are precursors of something which is known as pyridoxal phosphate. The pyridoxal pho phosphate is the active form of vitamin B6 and this acts as a coenzyme or a cofactor for many enzymes in the human body. So without this pyridoxal phosphate, these enzymes which catalyze certain reactions, they wouldn't be able to function. So it's especially common in reactions involving amino acids. And I've made a note here that pyridoxine and pyridoxal, you'll find them in animal products and pyridoxamine, you'll find from plant products. So let's talk about the functions of this pyridoxal phosphate. So um, a variety of enzymes known as transaminases, um, they require PLP to transfer amine groups between amino acids. Um, so without this, you wouldn't be able to convert certain um, amino acids into different amino acids. Uh, pyridoxal phosphate is involved in the biosynthesis of five neurotransmitters and those are serotonin, dopamine, epinephrine, norepinephrine and GABA. PLP is also involved in the synthesis of histamine and the enzyme which breaks down glycogen which is known as glycogen phosphorylase that requires pyridoxal phosphate to function. Pyridoxal phosphate is also required for uh, the enzymes which synthesize and break down sphingolipids, which is a type of lipid or fat. And the pyridoxal phosphate binds onto two sites on hemoglobin to enhance the oxygen binding of hemoglobin. Now, these are just a few of the functions. There are a lot more, but I've just focused on these six ones here. So let's talk about the sources of vitamin B6. It's uh, in high amounts in beef, pork, turkey, bananas, potatoes and chickpeas and the recommended daily amount for vitamin b6 is 1.3 milligrams per day and that's for adults between 19 to 50 years old so some symptoms of the deficiency of vitamin b6 it's a seborrheic dermatitis which is this diagram here you can see these rashes on the skin um, it also can contribute to angular chelitis which is uh, you can see on the corner of the of the mouth there's some inflammation here this image is actually a very mild case of angular chelitis, uh, but it is a contributing factor to uh, this inflammatory disease here. It also contributes to chronic conjunctivitis, which you can see from this diagram here, and it also is involved in atrophic glossitis with ulceration, so that's inflammation of the tongue. Uh, another symptom of the deficiency of vitamin B6 are rashes on the skin, and some neurological symptoms you can find from a deficiency of vitamin B6 are symptoms such as drowsiness, confusion and nerve damage.